family had to run away from DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, it's, it was very difficult for, for, for me at that time because I was 10 years old and uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel, I didn't face anything like that b before. I didn't experience before uh, a such kind of, uh, of violence uh, to see the war before. It was my first time to see me and my father and my brothers sleeping on the, in the bush, running away from our places, leaving our house and uh, go for far away, looking for how we can find a boat to go, to go to Tanzania, and it was very difficult for me. Uh, it was very hard to understand because I was very young when the war came in my country. Everything, all my dream, all my dreams went away. And I was thinking that maybe one day I will keep on learning and I will be someone. I was dreaming to be a doctor, and, but unfortunately, we just went to Tanzania, where we, we stayed there for some few years. And we were together with my, my, my brothers and sisters. We were all of us, we were 10. Then my father said that they staying in the camp, he cannot manage to stay with the entire family in the camp. My father said, no, we should, we should all of us go back to our country. And we decided to go back. It was very difficult even in our country when we went back in our country because in the territory where, where I went, the place were occupied by, by, by rebels. And th those rebels were recruiting children to join them, to join their, their army group so that they can teach them to manipulate guns, how to kill people, how to be fighting. So it was very horrifying things for me uh, and my father and my family decided that I should not stay there. That is why they told me that to go back to Tanzania. I just decided to, 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 to run together with my young brothers, two young brothers and my, my young sister. In 2009, we just left. We left the country again. Then we came here by the grace of God. In 2010, we managed, we managed to, to, to arrive in Malawi. When I was uh, just a new arrival here in the, in the camp of uh, Zaleka, 
it was very, very tough. It was very difficult for me to, to, to live uh, because I was, I, was, I was feeling that I was alone. But when I started going to the church, I, f I, I, found, I found others who faced the same issues like I faced. Those who faced the same challenges, their testimony just made me, just made something in my heart. You know, when I was, uh, when someone is not going to the church, you will feel like you are detached. You will feel like you are abandoned by everyone. But once you are there, you'll you'll find new friends. You'll find others who will take care of your, of your feeling. They, they, they will comfort you by the word of God. They will be coming and to pay you a, vis a visit each and every day. When I had that belief, I just said to myself that everything is possible. Even if I lost many things, I believe that one day I can gain more through Jesus Christ. The hope that you have lost outside the church, you will find it inside the church. That is why I am testifying, because what I lost outside the church, I found it in, inside the church. My dreams went away. I was feeling that, I, I was feeling that one day I would be useless in the community. But right now, I am the General Secretary of Dalika Christian Churches Union only because I just humbled myself and the pastors. They were, they, were, they, they were leading me how to work. They were leading me, they were leading me how to do things, how to lead young people, how to deal with the youth. They were leading me how to be good in youth work especially in the church and within the community. And I believe that everyone who can fall this way will win more, will gain more than me. I believe that because Jesus is there and uh, Jesus is, is can, he can, he can comfort everyone who gave himself to him, who surrenders himself to him. Madui zangu unicheka na pia ufurai Wakati niri yapo kuanguka kwangu kwa oshangwe Machweo kwangu bala na moyo ukwita pita Na hata hivyo Nadihisi ni mehajika Dandi ya giza, giza kuhu ya mvua Kini nyeshea peke yangu Bila msala Ewe mungu wangu peke yako tuwaweza Unisaidia Na hata hivyo Na jisi Nimeachika Ndani ya giza Giza kuyangua Kini nyeshe ya peke My name is Shabani Kabonga, and uh, I am a refugee in Zaleka refugee camp.